As the economic capital of the United Arab Emirates, Dubai is one of the most innovative cities in the world, serving as a hub for international business. With its emerging finance markets, infrastructure development, and energy strengths, combined with a focus on the future, this city has emerged as a strategic bridge between Europe, Africa, and Asia. Bracewell's Dubai office serves as an integral platform and is vital to our international energy, corporate, and commercial practices. Dubai office managing partner Chris Williams and partner Andre Kormuth recently sat down to discuss several topics pertaining to highlights from the Dubai office and new business developments in the region. But certainly in terms of the FDI then, um, bringing about a process which will enable certain businesses to have up to 100% foreign ownership. Uh, I think it's a very interesting development. It's certainly a way of seeking to grow and expand the economy. And really what they're trying to do with that is it's not going to be um, a, a right which will exist for all businesses coming in, but it's really going to focus on some real key areas. Um, so for us, you know, one of the interesting parts, which obviously fits in very nicely with our, our projects uh, practices, is, is renewable energy is, is one of the areas that they're obviously looking to grow. Um, Quite a bit of manufacturing and, uh, and, and, and associated businesses. So I think that this will actually encourage growth in terms of people coming in, being able to um, potentially have up to 100% foreign ownership. Um, I think it will also be encouraging to businesses that are looking to bring something that's long and sustainable to the, to the Emirates, um, particularly where you're obviously looking at something whereby you may actually have some form of manufacturing, I think that anything where you're obviously also growing um, emeritization, you've got technology transfer, you've got um, other other knowledge transfer that's taking place, I think will be particularly uh, particularly uh, welcome. Um, and I think you've seen that over, over the years, you know, before the FDI actually passed, then a good example of, of one of the companies that had al already benefited in a way from this was when Apple came into the market. Um, Tesla is another good example, and I think you will now start to see a stream of companies um, that are very much fitting with the vision of the UAE, um, which is really trying to get away from being a purely energy-based market to being a far more sort of diverse economic uh, play. Um, this will be an important mechanism for, for, for encouraging that growth.